Hey there, Gemini, and welcome now to Thursday. Well, we've got a lot of activity going on today. For starters, the moon will move through two signs. It begins in Libra, putting emotional focus on your inner child for the first half of the day. So if you're planning on playing, play in the morning, work in the afternoon. Then in the afternoon, things get kind of serious. The moon moves into Scorpio, putting emotional focus on health and lifestyle for the next 48, 72 hours or so. Now, what that means is this is the transit where you've got to manage your body, you've got to manage your emotions because they co-trigger each other. It does make you emotionally sensitive in the moment. You're quick to trigger, that sort of thing. And it's the best time to emotionally invest in your health and your happiness and your well-being. So put some love vibration in your heart and cast it onto any kind of body part that you're not feeling good and you'll see results because the moon is focusing on your daily moment to moment. Then zipping around the sun, it's all about the weeds in your soul garden this month. And today Saturn is ruling the day, which means you'll have enough information or courage to make a preliminary decision about what weeds you want to face. Okay. So this is not necessarily a full commitment of your soul, but you want to look at and go, you know what? I'm not ready to deal with my child abuse. I'm not ready to deal with my alcoholism, but I am really dealing with my smoking and I'm really dealing with the fact that I don't sleep well at night. Well, at least we've cut down some of it and we're going to focus on actually healing a part of you. So in the next 24, 48 hours, time to make some decisions about what you're willing to deal with and what you will follow through with, with your light casting. Then lastly, Mercury is retrograde. That's right. That means that we are going to go through the Jekyll Hyde of the Gemini. They always say Geminis have two personalities. I swear it's true. And what happens is usually one personality is kept in your inside voice and one verse personality used in your outer voice. What happens in a Mercury retrograde is those switch. So your inside voice becomes your outside voice and vice versa. And it forces you to interrelate with life differently. It also forces everyone else to interrelate with you differently. See, you think you get away with that second personality that no one sees it, but maybe your closest, closest friends. Uh-uh, Mercury retrograde reveals that to everyone. We see the two-face of Gemini, and it's not necessarily good and evil. I think that's not usually it. A lot of times it's the, the smart, courageous one. The other one is the quiet, quiet, sensitive one. It doesn't have to be Jekyll and Hyde, but that's kind of the cliche you get. So for the next three weeks, Gemini, you're going to be operating from the inside out, looking at life from the inside out, and you're going to be really examining the weeds in your soul garden because that's the space that Mercury is going to do a double lap on with you. So we got a lot of good spiritual work ahead of us, Gemini. All right, that's all I have for Thursday. See you folks tomorrow with your weekend forecast. Live, love, be. So